here in the Bay Area. Some of the most affordable places to live are mobile home parks, but some of those landlords are now testing the strength of rent control laws. The residents of three Sonoma County-based mobile homes are speaking out against their corporate landlord. As John Ramos explains, renters say they're facing illegal rent increases. Mobile home parks have become a battleground. They are often housing for seniors and people of moderate income, so they're granted special protections. But those protections are being challenged by investors who are looking to make a lot more money. We're all here in solidarity today um, to let them know that we all stand together and that we're not going to let them do this to our people. The rally at a park in Petaluma was a coming together of residents from a number of mobile home parks in Sonoma County. Each of the three parks are protected by rent control laws, but nevertheless, residents have received rent increase demands well above the limits. In the case of Littlewoods, a park with a high percentage of Spanish-speaking people, the increases are as much as 300 percent. And many are stuck because they own their mobile home, but not the ground it sits on. So a lot of times they're in this rock and a hard place where they have to accept huge rent increases because they know the alternative would probably put them out, that they wouldn't be able to afford to move. We are frightened by these threats and stand in solidarity with the people of other parks who are also facing the same problem with Harmony. Harmony Communities also manages the Countryside Mobile Home Park in Katati, which is undergoing the latest fight. Wayne Randall has lived in the Seniors Park for 17 years and says it's a simple lifestyle. We have no amenities here. There's no clubhouse, swimming pool, no sidewalks, no nothing. We're just living. But we're living at a rate that we can afford. But the property owners wanted to remove the seniors only status. So in December, Katati leaders voted to impose a seniors overlay, zoning the property for only that purpose. Afterwards, property owner Nick Ubaldi threatened the council, saying, quote, you voted for a lawsuit. The property value far exceeds its current use. This is a private business and we will no longer bear the burden of Katati's affordable housing efforts. The city can build and subsidize its own. After tonight's vote, we have decided to immediately begin the closure process for Countryside Mobile Home Park. What do you think is the ultimate goal of the, of the owner here? His ultimate goal is to break rent control. It's the process of making people uncomfortable where they're at, how they're living, and that they have to conform to either higher rent increases or they will eventually get you out of here somehow or another. It's becoming a familiar pattern. Those who live in mobile home parks often have little in the way of resources to fight. We have laws in place to protect us, so we have to fight for a rent, or a rent control now. And it means gathering everybody together and doing stuff like this. We have to. We're left with no choice. But they're finding that together they have more power than standing alone. Petaluma recently passed a stronger rent control ordinance to protect mobile home park residents, but property owners have now sued the city, claiming it threatens their right to a reasonable return on their investment.